Hi guys, I'm Sean here at Print Build Play headquarters in the Netherlands. Today we're going to dedicate this video to explain a little bit more about the map of Waterloo and how to deploy your armies and the different components on the map. So, are you excited? Let's get to it. Okay, so this is the map, the campaign map or the battle map of Waterloo. As you can see, it's a really big map. It's 160 centimeters wide, 90 centimeters deep. So it's a big map. The map is obviously divided over two sides. We have the Allied side and we have the French side. Yeah. Deploying your armies is deploying in the first two squares of the map on both sides. So we have one, two squares. In this section, you can deploy your whole army as you see fit to your battle plan. On the other side, we have three key points of defense. So Wellington choose his, uh, choose his ground very well. He had on his left side the farm of Papelot, in the center the farm of La Sand, and on the right the farm of Hougoumont. These three key points are crucial in Wellington, Wellington's defense line. So if you're playing the Allies, you're allowed to deploy here two units at Papelot, two units here in La Sand and six units here at Hougoumont. Yeah. Further, as you can see, the map is divided into squares. We call them operational squares. Operation squares is the action radius of a unit that you can move and uh, move or attack on the battlefield. Yeah. We have on the left side, we have the timeline for every turn each commander can have four action points. If both turns have played their action point, you can move the time icon to the next round. On the other side, we have the title of the battle. And on each side, we have the commanders of the Allies and we have the commanders of the French. And as you can see, each has a template or their display of the commander with their abilities. So it's really important that you know which commander are on the battlefield and what they can do if you play at the field marshal level. Yeah? So this is the Battle of Waterloo, the setup. You start at the first, first two rows from your side. You deploy your units as you wish. Yeah? And then when the battle begins, it starts with French. They, each side has a up to four action points per round to uh, engage or move their troops into battle. 